Hello and welcome to Indies and News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. News in detail. Nagpur district continues to report less fresh cases COVID-19 as compared to recovered cases. On October 29, the city registered 324 new COVID cases. Where this the tally reaches to 94,899. Meanwhile, 508 patients became free from the virus, taking the total number of recoveries to 87,259, including 46,356 home isolation recoveries. After two days, data the recovery rate uh, now stands at 91.95 percent with 13 people succumbing to the infection in the day the death toll has now reached to 3110 from the total deaths 2137 are reported from the city and 565 from rural and rest 408 from out of nagpur an official release said now a total of 4530 patients are active in the city Sensation prevailed in the party area after the body of a Gondia based man was found lying near Kapsi petrol pump here on Thursday morning. The deceased person has been identified as Dilip Rao. Though the exact reason behind the death could not be ascertained immediately, party cops are suspecting foul play in the matter and have commenced an investigation in this regard. According to the police sources, some motorists passing by discovered the body lying near the Kapsi petrol pump and informed the police control room. Acting swiftly on the inputs, officials of party police station rushed to the spot and sent the body for autopsy. In the meantime, cops have registered an offense of accidental death and probing further. Working in a zonal office of NMC was paralyzed as the civic employees went on mass leave to protest a delay in implementation of 7th Pay Commission. All the officers were a deserted look as employees went on a one-day mass leave on Veterans Day. The NMC employees have long been complaining about the dual standard applied by the state government while implementing the 7th Pay Commission. While those working with the state government establishment are entitled for revised pay structure, those in the local self-government bodies like NMC are kept out of it. In AMC, the administration and elected office bearers have okayed the proposal to grant 7th pay structure to employees, but the Urban Development Department withheld it. NMC had decided to provide separate plumbing connection in each flat of Maharashtra Housing and Regional Development Authority. This was done in order to alleviate the grievances of the murder colony residents. However, as there are many obstacles in this regard, Mayor Sandeep Joshi directed to submit a report in the next 15 days after inspecting all the murder colonies with the NMC jurisdiction, including its water supply schemes. It took stock of citizens' issues with regard to water supply to the citizens in Mada Colony. Mayor Sandeep Joshi held a special meeting on Thursday at the corporation's headquarters. Deputy Mayor Manisha Kote, Standing Committee Chairman Vijay Jalke and others were present on this occasion. Regarding the issue of Dantoli and Congress Nagar localities, lease holders in the city, Mayor Sandeep Joshi directed the concerned authorities to take necessary action to solve the problem. An eventful meeting was held on Thursday in the Dr. Punjab Radesh Memorial Standing Committee's Hall regarding this concern. The meeting was attended by Mayor Sandeep Joshi, Deputy Mayor Manisha Kote, Standing Committee Chairman Vijay Jhalke, Transport Committee Chairman Narendra Borkar, Lakshminagar Zone Chairman Prakash Goyer, Dantoli Zone Chairman Lata, Kadgai, Senior Councillor Dayashankar Tiwari, Additional Commissioner Ram Joshi, Deputy Commissioner Milin Mishram, Lakshminagar Zone Assistant Commissioner Raju Bhivukade, Executive Engineer Sonali Chauhan. Maharashtra government on Thursday extended the COVID-19 lockdown in state till November 30, with activities permitted under mission begin again to remain in force. The state government said that the activities in the state will open in phase wise till November 30. The activities already allowed and permitted from time to time shall be continued and all earlier orders shall be aligned with this order and shall remain in force up to end of November, the state government stated in its fresh order. The lockdown curves will be strictly followed in containment zone. The state government in its order said that it is extending the lockdown in the entire state of Maharashtra further till midnight of 30th November 2020. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with this and news. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.